Do you know which Chief Justice this is? I'll bet you don't. This is our 16th Chief Justice, William Rehnquist, who is remembered as one of the most successful Chief Justices of the Supreme Court. Rehnquist was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1924. Rehnquist's parents were William Benjamin Rehnquist, a conservative Republican that was a sales manager for a printing equipment and paper sales office, and his mother was Marjorie Peck Rehnquist, who was a director for a small insurance company and a local civic activist. Rehnquist graduated from Shorewood High School and briefly attended Kenyon College for one semester. He then joined the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II, where he never saw any combat, was, but was stationed in North Africa as a weather observer. After the war, Rehnquist attended Stanford University, where he received a Bachelor of Arts and a Master of Arts in Political Science. Rehnquist then attended Harvard University, where he received another Master of Arts in Government. Eventually, Rehnquist returned to Stanford and graduated from the Stanford Law School, where he met Sandra Day O'Connor, who would later serve on the Supreme Court with them, and during their time at Stanford, they briefly dated. After 16 years in private practice, Rehnquist moved back to Washington, D.C. to serve as a Deputy Attorney General for the Justice Department when Richard Nixon won the presidency in 1968. Nixon eventually named Rehnquist as an Associate Justice on the Supreme Court. In 1986, when Chief Justice Warren Burger retired, Ronald Reagan named Rehnquist as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Rehnquist, as a controversial conservative justice, ruled on several landmark cases, including Texas v. Johnson, Kelo v. City of New London, and Roe v. Wade, where he wrote a dissenting opinion on the majority decision to make abortion legal. Rehnquist as a conservative justice was often referred to as the Lone Ranger because of his tendency to be on the opposite side of the majority decisions in the Supreme Court. After 33 years in service in the Supreme Court, Rehnquist was diagnosed with thyroid cancer but refused to retire and remain Chief Justice until his death in September 2005.